working with our project here, and we're going to show you how to go ahead and do some quick titles. We want this to create in our video track, so I'm going to move our video track up here for right now. I'm going to click on Create Title in Video Track, and our quick titler comes up. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in, this is Mongolia. And I'm going to drag that down low. I'm going to move it over to center it on the screen. And we're going to save as. And we're just going to give it the same name. This is Mongolia. And save. So now we've got our title up here. Here it is on our, on our track. So here is our title in 2D sitting on top. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to our effects panel and we're going to go ahead and get our stereoscopic adjuster and we're going to add it to the title as a video track. Then we're going to open up the stereoscopic adjuster and what we're going to do is we're going to add a little positive separation to it and as you see on the screen we're getting a little bit of separation. One of the most important things to avoid with titles is retinal rivalry. You need to make sure that the title exists further out into the negative parallax than the most negative item on the screen. And so I click and there we have a valid 3D title. It's a very simple one, but if you look at it on a 3D monitor, you'll see that it is sticking out further than anything else Eddie's comes included with uh, filters and effects that you can add to your timeline, to your videos. Uh, let's take a look at some of the transitions. We're looking at clips here behind the scenes that we shot inside the GUR editing actually on our, our Toshiba laptop and editing with Eddie's. Let's go ahead and create a couple of cuts here. And let's create a situation where we're going to use a transition to go from one to the other. And so here we have just a hard cut going from one clip to the other. Let's add in this dissolve and let's see how that works in 3D. The nice thing is, is it works pretty much the same way that it does in 2D. It beautifully just seamlessly does a transition from one to the other. Now you can also go ahead and here's a stretch. I'm just replacing that one on the timeline. So as you see, you can use all the same filters and effects that you used in 2D for Adios. You can use in 3D as well. So as you can see, that works very easily. Also, you can add filters. So let's go to our video filters. One of the other things that's extremely valuable is color correction. And one of the nicest things about the color correction tool is that when you drop it in on the line to go ahead and work with it, you notice you get a left and a right over here. So you can actually color correct if you have a difference between your two. Let's change our view. Let's change our stereoscopic mode and let's look at side by side. And you see actually we're looking very good here, but if we want to, we're gonna turn off the left so that we're only working with the right. And let's really skew this so that we can see it. Change our black balance. And there, as you can see, we're only affecting the right screen. And you can go in and change that and only do it on the left screen. And then click OK, and you save your settings. So it's an excellent way to be able to work with stereoscopic, and you can apply it however you need to use it.